Greetings, members one and all of the Salivation Nation with an absolutely stunning two-ounce high-relief round from Provident Metals, the latest in the Egyptian God series. It is the Osiris. Let's explore! Coming in two different versions here, we have the regular high relief and the antiqued version. Fascinating uh, pieces indeed. It is the fifth of the series, and Provident Metals was kind enough to send me these to review uh, to show you. And it is fascinating to see how this series has evolved over time. And it started with the Cleopatra round, which was very stunning, a beautiful piece indeed. Then we had the Anubis round, the two ounce Anubis. And then the uh, Kinnam round, the ultra high relief Kinnam round. I'm probably not pronouncing that exactly right. And then we had the Egyptian uh, god Sobic round, which was a muscular version, very, very intricately detailed. All of these pieces are. And they've been kind of formulated uh, and struck by different mints. This one has actually been struck by the Silvertown Mint. and But none of, that does not take away from the detail um, or the uh, beauty of these particular pieces. Let's take a look closely at this round here. And you can see the, image, the re imagery there and how it just really just pops the design and the details showcasing and consistency uh, with these rounds uh, through the series. Uh, and I love consistency in a series, and this is done uh, remarkably well. Um, this is, as described here, um, these ultra-high-relief rounds, this is the first time it's made its way back in quite a number of, of years, really, now, uh, since we saw the, the last version, the Sobek round. Um, these are incredibly uh, detailed and that thick reeded edge really brings it to light and here we can see the reverse and the detail on each of the reverses is unique but consistent as well there's a pyramid there so uh, Heidi Wastwheat designed this particular piece and she's been designed all of these rounds and does an incredible job just an amazing job in composition and detail in her work now, the resurrected figure of Osiris is depicted on this obverse round, um, and Osiris was the primeval uh, king of Egypt who was murdered by his brother, Set, and dismembered afterwards with his body parts strewn in a river. Now, the wife of Osiris, Isis, collected his body parts and wrapped his body back together using magic to resurrect him for a brief time. Osiris is depicted here with the Atif crown on his head, a crook and fail in his hands, and a pharaoh's beard. And the cartage on the right side of the design field with three symbols is representative of the name Osiris. And here we can see that um, cartage there, which is what you see in the hieroglyphics. Uh, definitely a fascinating uh, look there uh, and well depicted with uh, elements of symmetry along with this design. On the reverse, which is, has a coin turn, um, is the elements of the two ounce Osiris rounds. You will find an image of his mummified remains. Um, Isis was able to temporarily, temporarily resurrect her husband following his death and dismemberment. Afterward, mummifying his remains, Osiris is one of the first Egyptian gods associated with the practice of mummification. Other elements of the design include a pyramid in the background, a wall of hieroglyphics, and posts at the feet of Osiris there, or pots at the, at the uh, feet, and then we have the, the weight and the purity and the material being silver. Very well done. And it is the, the fifth in the design of of this in the first of a continuation recorded evidence of a worship of Osiris dates back to the 25th century BC and uh, of the fifth dynasty the Egyptian gods 
though many scholars believe he was worshipped even before that time. And uh, it is beautifully done, and they actually offer capsules as well uh, with these pieces so you can further protect them if you uh, care to order. I will post a link to this design or to this coin in the description of this video. It's actually a round, not a coin, or to the Egyptian God series so you can see them all. Uh, well, many of them are out of stock now, but perhaps they'll restock them later. But here is the antique version, and you can see that it just... The antiquing tends to really bring out those details, I think, even a lot more. Um, and you can see with this polished look here. Uh, very well done. Uh, and it continues the collection for me. I believe I have all of these. I may um, do a video in time showing them all um, as I continue to kind of collect them here. But again, Provident Metals was kind to send this to me. And it, and it is really for those that are collectors out there. They do hold a premium. But you know what? Uh, that premium is not that much more than you would find for bullion in this day and age. Um, so they're, I think, fairly reasonably priced for what they are. But they are collector pieces. They're not meant to stack uh, per se. But um, it is something that if you want to diversify your collection of um of silver bullion out there it may not be a bad idea to kind of expand a little bit and and get into the world of collecting which is a world that i certainly enjoy uh, precious metals and the fact that these pieces are made of precious metals is just an added bonus but uh, the egyptian god series is something that's been uh, around for 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 quite a while and they certainly have um brought um joy and happiness to uh, many of us who are collecting and uh, I think it's fascinating to see how this series has evolved over time. And even though there's been a delay between some of these designs and even some of the mints that have produced them, uh, I think it's incredible that they've been able to keep up that consistency uh, between how they look and the themes that are provided here. And it gives you a look back into history um, as well, Egyptian history, which is so fascinating. There's some members of our community who know a whole lot more about that than I do and can pronounce the, the names better than I can as well. But just the beauty and the craftsmanship in these pieces is, is enough to really uh, attract me as a buyer uh, of these pieces um, when they come out. And, of course, you know that I am down with the thickness, as it were, and will continue to be and love these super thick uh, well-struck pieces uh, from Provident Metals. And Provident Metals is as a company that is associated with um, now JM Bullion and, of course, soon to be completely with um, um, Amark Precious Metals, too. Uh, they have, a, I think, a certain amount of independence from both those companies where these products will be available, but really have uh, still started their way through the Provident brand. Uh, and being known for some very successful runs with series that we've seen in the past um, and that they're known for. Most notably the Zombucks, which was quite a hit when they came out with the Zombuck series years ago. And so my guess is they will continue in that vein and provide products like this in the future. So there you have it. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. I hope you enjoyed the Osiris um, 2 ounce high relief silver round from Provident Metals. And want to extend a multitude of gratitude to you all for taking the time to watch and encourage you to please rate, share, comment, and subscribe.